Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome. Well, this is a reading to find out if can they be trusted. That's the name of it. And this is whether well, there's someone you know, you can put the attention towards that person that you want to know if they can be trusted. Or if you just want to see what the universe has to tell you, and then you could kind of figure out who this might be for you. Okay, so let's see here. Our first question will be, what is this person's intentions? And we have here, okay, they have the five of cups. Five of water, focusing on the negative, things not turn out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, everything happens for a reason, look for the hidden blessing. Now this person is looking at what they lost. Might have been a connection with you, something that happened between the two of you guys, or there's something that split you guys up, or you're in, you're not speaking, or something's going on between you, but they're in that lack instead of, you know, feeling like there's a possibility here. So let's see. We'll clarify this though. Should you trust this person? And we have the seven of wands. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. Okay, so I feel like you are doing better than this person. Feels like they might be a little bit jealous of you. And so maybe this could be a work situation or this could be a love situation. It could be anything. It could be a friend. It could be an ex-lover. It could be a sibling. It, you know, whichever way it goes for you. But this, you are actually doing better than them. Or they they see you as doing better than them. Doesn't mean that you really are. They might be doing well too. But maybe, you know, they can't see that. Okay, let's see. Will a relationship or friendship with this person be beneficial? And we have the three of earth, three of um, pentacles. So do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. Being paid well for your craft. Working well with others. An excellent reputation. It does feel like a work situation. It feels like someone's jealous of you, but may they want to work together with you. There might have been something where you did work together and then it fell apart or something happened. But it looks like you might be able to work well together. Okay, now overall... What is advice for the situation? We have the High Priestess. Meditate and turn inward and discover your soul's true desire. This is not a time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. So this is saying that you know the answer. You have that within. You're very intuitive. And at the bottom the deck we have here the Queen of Wands. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Yeah, um, you're getting a lot of attention. And this person might be a little bit jealous of this. But whatever um, capacity they are in your life here. This is something that they're not too happy about it. They may they have a low self-esteem. So let's see. Um... What is this person's intention? And we have here the five of water, five of cups. Let's clarify that, please. And we have the king of cups. Okay, they're very, they have a lot of emotions. They might hide their emotions. They, this might be someone that is actually in love with you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or it could be someone that has a lot of, they're very, they get very emotional. Okay, let's see. Ah, for some of you, this is someone that's interested. Oh my God, this Mercury! I cannot speak. They are interested in you romantically, and for others, this is a work, a co-worker. Okay, let's see here. Should you trust this person again? We have the Seven of Wands here. What's that all about? The Emperor. Okay, so this person wants control. So I don't know. Really, I'm getting really mixed energy from this this is aries energy this person wants to be in full control and they see that you they might think that you have one up up on them and they don't like it that's the energy i'm feeling this person does not like that they want full control you might be getting credit for things maybe um they've been in the company longer and you're you're everybody's noticing your work or something it feels like i feel like jealousy here okay now let's see here Will a relationship or friendship with the person be beneficial? We do have the three of earth, three of pentacles. Let's see. Six of wands. Yes, it can be. This can work. If this person's willing to share the spotlight or work together with you, this person feels a little narcissistic. They, they feel a little bit 
the energy I'm I'm feeling is someone that really wants all the attention. Okay. Overall advice for this situation, we have the High Priestess. So let's see. Which is Cancer and Virgo energy. Okay, we have Queen of Pentacles. Well, that's very interesting here. So this is someone that is very stable. Able to make money. Good at, around um, the home. Very nurturing. Ah, three of Cups. Okay, there could be a self. I think if you're willing to give this person, um, let them take more credit and stuff. But I think if you're doing the work, you should take the credit. I don't think anybody... I, you know, that's one of my pet peeves. People think they don't have to do something and they should get all the credit and get... I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Let's go into the, um, some more cards here. Let's see. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else do we have here for Scorpio? Okay, we have the King of Wands. And this could be someone that's very creative. Um, very... That has a lot of um, charisma, very attractive. Leo, Aries, um, Sagittarius energy. We also have looking towards the future, something new to happen here. And someone's holding on to something. Someone's not letting go. I think if you have new ideas or something that you are trying to put into motion or trying to you know, get off the ground, do not tell this person. Do not. Keep things to yourself. Okay, and then we also have Ten of Cups coming in here. And you're getting victory and a celebration. Okay. Knight of Swords at the bottom here. Something, someone's coming to you really quickly here. Oh, let's see, and I don't really know how to even tell you about this here. I'm thinking this person is sort of a narcissistic. I, I really do. And um, you're getting a lot of attention. I think, you know what? You worked hard for your attention. So I think you should get your attention. And it's up to you how you feel. Use your intuition. It's going to be different for everyone. Some, place, some of you people maybe shouldn't go and even give this person time of day. Wow, I cannot speak of this Mercury. <laughs> but some of you, you know, I you can. I mean, it's. I'm sorry that I can't be more clear on this, but this is a general reading. I got my card here. I can see it from the light. This is mirror here. Okay, let me see what's going on with these um, court cards. The first one is... Okay, we'll start with the King of Cups. What's the scoop on this King of Cups? Confess. Memories. Thinking. Okay, this person's going to be thinking about something, confessing the memories they had working with you or being with you. This person does have a lot of emotions for you. Okay, now the Queen of Pentacles. We have lust. Will you spying? Okay, so someone's watching you. They're lusting for you, and they're going to ask you a question. <laughs> okay, of course that's not going to be for everyone, but <laughs> they could be. You know, I mean, lust. It could be a sexual thing, but it's also could be they're lusting for what you have, what you're able to do. Okay, um, and if they're watching you, they're spying on you. Okay, what about the Queen of Wands? And we have here, is it revealed in the present here? So some, if it, someone's going to give you a reveal, can give you a present, there's something happening in the present, something might be revealed in the present, and then there's going to be the question that starts with, is it? Okay, so someone's going to ask you a question, is it? Okay, King of Wands, why do we have a King of Wands here? And we have money. Unknown. Oh, how do I get a die here? And um, later. Okay. So something's unknown about money. You probably might find out about it later. Because when it's coming up, you're going to find out something about money. Okay, what about the Knight of Swords? Why is that here? We have Gift. Let me move this over so you can see it more, I think. Okay, we have Gift. Desire. Mystery. Okay, so it looks like someone's bringing you a gift. It might be a present here. This I don't know if this is present tense or if this is a present to someone or they're presenting you with something. They might present you a review. I don't know, but here we go. Here we have desire, mystery, and gift here. So there might be a gift that you desire that's coming in. This might be a mystery coming in. But this is a gift. 
That's very interesting. Okay, guys. Now let's see what signs we're dealing with. I hope that helped. It felt a little confusing to me, but I hope it helps someone somehow. <laughs> but of course, I'm just a reader, so <laughs> you guys got to figure it out with. Hopefully it works for you. And we have here Aries. Wow, right in the Emperor. <laughs> Aries, Scorpio, and there's your sign. Sagittarius, Cancer, Aries, and Leo. Okay, we have all the fire signs here. Of course, we do have the King of Wands here. So this could be placed from your chart, placed from a person's chart, placed from in other people's chart, past, present, and future. And we have Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Aries, and Leo. Now for the letters. We're going to do 11 letters. And this will be for initials for first name, last name. And then if you get the first and last and you know someone's middle name, get that all the better. Past, present, future people, also your own. We have B, G, J, Q, B, I, B, M, F, P, one more, and we have Q. So these are the letters for you to have today. B, G, J, Q, B, I, B, M, F, P, Q. Okay, now for the names. Get 11 names. Let's see what the names are. What are the names here for Scorpio? Okay. I don't know if I need any more, but let's see what we have here. We have Thimby, T-H-E-M-B-I. And we have Mary. We have Jamar, J-A-M-A-A-R. We at Aneta, A-N-E-T-T-A. Janine, J-E-N-E-E-N. Rebecca with two C's. And Betty. Cherise, C-H-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E -E. Ralph. Bessie, B-E-S-S-I-E. And Gloria. Ooh, and we do have 11. I love it when it comes out Zachary right. <laughs> well, it's says Zachary right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so sorry. My tongue feels like it's tied up or something. Okay, guys. Um, th these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much. I love doing these readings for you. And I appreciate all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And also, um, now that we're eligible for super thanks here, thank you so much for being so generous with your donations. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.